This is one of the world's most feared and wanted Al-Qaeda-linked fighters. Ilyas Kashmiri was killed Friday evening in a U.S. drone strike in South Waziristan. Several others died in the attack, which targeted a house not far from the main town of Wana, which has a sizable Pakistani military presence. Ilyas Kashmiri has been on America and Pakistan's hit list for some time now and had a $5 million bounty on his head. He leads the Al-Qaeda-affiliated Harkatul Jihad al-Islami and is accused of orchestrating attacks against NATO in Afghanistan as well as a number of brazen attacks inside Pakistan. He was also involved in a strike on the Mehran naval base in Karachi in May in which a dozen people were killed. For 18 hours, Al-Qaeda fighters battled against the Pakistani military before security forces were able to regain control of the base. In an attempt to mend the relationship between Pakistan and the United States, U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and Joint Chiefs of Staff Admiral Mike Mullen recently met Pakistan's leader. During that trip, Islamabad was provided with what's been described as a hit list. It had five names of Taliban and Al-Qaeda-linked fighters that the U.S. wants Pakistan to apprehend by July. Kashmiri was on that list. The killing of Ilyas Kashmiri is another major success for the United States against Al-Qaeda. But it raises further questions over Pakistan's ability or willingness to go against senior fighters found yet again within its borders. Imtiaz Taib, Al Jazeera, Islamabad.